And a couple of days ago the news came out that Dana International is trying again for Israel. How do you like that news? JK. Well, we were, we always were compared, of course, with D, with Diva, yeah. uh, the Diva, and uh, I did ask her actually in an interview uh, in 2008 when she wrote the Israeli song if she would come back, and she said no. Mm -hmm. So now she's back, so she didn't keep her promise, basically. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But that was a hard. She promise misses it now, yeah. So I, I think I think why, why not? Let's there's many many artists come back like Luz Astia, the very first one, mm -hmm. came back three times at the beginning yeah, of the contest. True. Switzerland, we had four times repeat offenders by um, um, oh what were they called? They did Mia's Eosensate in 1981. Peter Schoen Mark, mm -hmm. it was. Chiara, yours. Well, uh, actually, I was going to lead to that question because okay. uh, Chiara uh, has been trying to, uh, she went to Eurovision three times and uh, lately she revealed that she would have wanted to come back again this year, but uh, the rules stated that uh, no participant from Malta from the past three years could participate, including her, and mm -hmm. she was a bit disappointed why leaving me out of a contest where I, I enjoy myself uh, delivering my new mm. song, my new stuff. Do you agree with that, that she is going to try again so soon after her 2009 uh, uh, entry? I love her. Don't yeah. know. Mm. I want to meet, I want to meet you, so... Uh, we, Kiara, if you're we listening. Will go, we'll go for a coffee, Kiara, maybe tomorrow if you're listening. <laughs> I, I tell you, Kiara has a voice that nobody else in Malta can beat. Yeah. yeah. It's she, she just this angel song that she has put on in 2005, yeah. which became second. Uh, that should have actually won. That was amazing. Yeah. And, uh, Do you think it should have won? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. But there was um, Helena Paparizu with her number one then then sect. Yeah. I still think Kiara yeah. Angel should, should have taken it. Was my favorite. Question today, or do you have it? On your on your little player. Yeah. Do I? Yeah. I hope so. How much money can I pay you? Donna Lee, your favorite alcohol. Malerba, Miss Sydney, and Liana for program. It seems to be a favorite with the four of you, you know? We right? all voted for her. Oh, yeah, you we all. all. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, I was there, but I, <laughs> <laughs> I was there with Kiara in 2005. But if I could vote for Kiara then, yes, definitely. So you were competing against her. Do you feel that uh, she was a threat? She might have got the trophy? I thought she was going to win. Not I wanted her to win. Not Elena Paparizo? No. I like, I like number one. But um, I think Chiara and Angel was much stronger song. Much, mm. much stronger. And she was on her own, on the stage. Mm. Simple. And just sang her heart out. It was beautiful. So I, I thought she was going to win it. Okay, now this leads me to the big question of us Maltese. Uh, why do you think Malta hasn't won the Eurovision yet? As foreigners, as, as uh, people who are watching it from home and you have no agenda. And have That's a very good question. Okay. Yeah. Why, yeah, why yeah. is it so hard it's for us? Yeah, I think um, all the countries are afraid to try new things. Yes. Eurovision needs people to, to as in be daring yeah try yeah. new music it's the same you have the typical ballads you have then the dance schla the the schlager, schlager stuff schlager songs and you know they don't try r&b and things that are popular in the charts the modern day charts now so yeah. i think you know maybe it might explore that in the next few years We'll Just see. be different. Yeah, different. It's it's good to be different. I know Eurovision fans. I know they love the typical Eurovision songs. Mm -hmm. You know. That, yes. Yeah. But I I think it has like changed. Like Lena anyway, last year yeah. for 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 Germany, her song was so different, and it won Eurovision. And it I think people should see now be different, and it it can go really good. It gives, can be really good chance. in yeah. Eurovision. Can hit a chord. And uh, your idea, um, Bert? Yes. Oh, why Malta hasn't done so well, especially lately, like Thea, last year? She was a brilliant performer. She uh, still is. I still don't understand because that was a really a strong voice, I think. She gave a good performance. Mm -hmm. I like the song, but I'm, I'm more maybe a fan. I'm, I'm a bit older. I, I like Eurovision old style. Mm -hmm. So I love the ballads. Mm -hmm. So for me, maybe if you want to win, you need to be modern or original. But for me, also, I like to have those kind of songs in, mm. which can yeah, do it for me. 
Okay. Your, yeah. your idea, JP? I think the song was excellent of Thea last year, mm -hmm. and uh, but it was uh, in the style of 19 of the 90s. Mm -hmm. So it, it was a very successful formula at that time, and as like Donna said, be dairy, do something new. So and when we see this here in the, in the Maltese final, a lot of, of good songs and songs which I haven't seen before. Different. Different. And that could really, really be uh, a good chance for Malta. Then the other thing is, does Malta want to win it? Mm. Yes. Yeah. I think I'm Malta, sure. um, I think you always concentrate on the singer mm. with the amazing voice. I think sometimes you need to have the correct song and also the performance part. So you need to be entertaining. At the end of the day, it's just for one night. A big know? show. A big show. You just mm. have to grab the audience attention. Do you think Eurovision has now become a Eurovision show contest mm, rather than the song and yes. the big voice? Yes, it has. Like it's, it's changed a lot from the 70s and the 80s. And I, I would like to be cautious not to promote any singer of no, in particular no, no. because mm -hmm. uh, you know we're on the eve of our festival but uh, have you seen from uh, the reviews, from, from the, the rehearsals or maybe as songs. Have you heard any good song this year, without naming the song and the singer in particular, which might do well at Eurovision on the big platform? Well, I recorded for Radio International, actually, which, which is broadcasting now in, in, right in the now, Netherlands, yeah. uh, the the 24 songs, and I have been giving some votes. And I have out of a hundred, and I had no, nothing below 50, mm -hmm. but I had about seven in the 90s. So it, it's quite a, a difficult thing to do for if I would have to be in a jury to, se to select the winning song out of, of the 24. So you think this year's level is higher than... It, it's the much average? higher than last year and the year before. Mm, yeah. Bird? I think very good level and very good solid artist you have here. And especially keep up the good show with uh, like many songs mm -hmm. because that's what we lack in the Netherlands. We have like only one artist performing and only one song, and that that's so boring. Mm -hmm. I think I would be very uh, happy if we had this kind of show in the Netherlands and just the whole atmosphere around. It's like a mini Eurovision mm -hmm. in, your, in your island, and everybody is interested in it. We even and that call you it need to uh, to continue. I think we even call it multi Eurovision, and that's why we yeah. come yes. over here <laughs> to, uh, to to hear that. And uh, Lauren, I know that you're competing or try or uh, still waiting for yes, a news I'm from waiting. Azerbaijan. Yes, yes. You've put a song there, yes, which we of course are keeping our fingers Thank crossed you. for you. Thank Thank you very much. Mm, uh, like you came to Malta, maybe we come to Azerbaijan maybe. to support you. We need a holiday, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> um, tell us something about this collaboration with Azerbaijan. Um, this year I was not going to write for Eurovision. I usually write for Ireland and um, I've never gotten into the national final as such. But um, I just decided with my good friend Niall Mooney, who has written for Neve. Mm -hmm. and also for Sinead Mulvey there in 2009. Um, we just decided to try a new sort, sort of song, a new style, and we were looking at all of the national finals that were left, and Azerbaijan just caught my attention, so we just decided to go and, you know, we'll see. Yeah, no, Neil, 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 well, Niall. Niall, I keep calling him Neil. Uh, he's competing also in the Maltese. Yes, uh, yeah? yes, yes. And Jonas Gladnikov is also competing in, in uh, some four or five other. Yes, he's finals. very talented man. So hello, Jonas. <laughs> and we're sorry that we can't be there in Dublin because he's coming over tomorrow to Dublin. We oh. have our national final on on Friday. So who will win for Ireland this year? I, uh, <laughs> can we, can we, we not say? I think every, everybody... <laughs> we would like Nikki to win because of yeah. Jonas, no? Yes. Yeah. But Jedward are really I big think Jedward. Yeah. Really you know, big. and they're nice boys. Mm. You know, I don't know if it's Eurovision, but we can see. With, with okay, I'm in 2005, I, I could not be me, as in because I was part of an act. Mm -hmm. And I want to go for uh, Eurovision for Ireland next year on my own. So what I was thinking was, in a good way to get back in and get the feel for it mm -hmm. you know what better way to do it than to back somebody vocally and get the feel for it again and then go for Ireland next year on my own so I'm just kind of learning again but it's been really good and I've been enjoying a lot and learning lots over here in Malta as well how you run your your contest as well and it's good to see that in different countries to bring back home as well so good. 
Uh, JP, do you think that um, Eurovision might go to a new country next year, to a country which hasn't won it? I wanted yet? it to go already last year to a different country. I want to travel away from my country. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but you're living in, in Netherlands. So. Yes, uh, but it's not that far away. Um, I think it will be, uh, the EBU will take care of that. <laughs> I would say that, that we will be able to go to a different country next year. And now it's confirmed that UK will be represented by Blue. Blue? It's a very good choice. They have been very popular in the in the zeros, uh, 2001. Mm. I think the they started zeros, off, uh, and uh, they're still there. They're still popular, and I think it's a good choice of the BBC to send them. I just hope that the song is appealing to many, many people. Mm. And they're here in Malta, aren't they? They will be on Friday. That's the, just uh, from Twitter. Twitter mm -hmm. says that they will be on on Friday here in Malta. Uh, Italy is coming back this year as part of the Big Five. So this is also raising a question here. So if Italy comes back, then we have Big Five. If they don't come back, we have Big Four. Why is Italy so precious to Eurovision? Well, what's your opinion about it? Maybe you, Bert, have been following well, They have so a good uh, musical tradition of singing their own language. I think they have a beautiful language. Mm -hmm. They have uh, <coughs> the San Remo Song Contest, of course, which is still very popular. And they have a good tradition of even experienced singers coming back there every now and then and uh, <clears throat> I think that's that's a good uh, country to, to have uh, back again and it would be nice also for the contest to, to move to southern Europe for, for a change mm -hmm. maybe to Italy or maybe to Portugal who is one of the very underestimated countries of Eurovision I think or to Malta or mm -hmm. to Malta, yeah. <laughs> or to Malta? Yeah. Because, why not why yeah, not yeah. as far as I know mm -hmm. from the records uh, Malta Cyprus and Portugal are the three countries left uh, we have not won. We, we, we haven't won uh, the Eurovision yet but we've been competing uh, for so many times yeah? So it's time that it yeah. goes to you're Southern there, Europe. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe it will be this year. But the, Leo, there's a question to you. So um, um, we're, uh, we're, uh, we've got only five minutes left for this show to end. Uh, I would like you to leave a message to, to send out uh, your, your regards to all those who are listening to the show, especially those who will be televoting for the winning song this weekend. Okay, let's start with Jake. Well, I can only ask people to watch the Eurovision Song Contest. Don't mention any names no. of singers and titles. Please. Support your favorite artists, support your international artists as well at the big Eurovision Song Contest. Make it survive. It has to live forever. Great. I would say hello to everybody in Malta and uh, uh, go and uh, watch this, the show, uh, whether you're in the, the audience or at home. Enjoy it and vote for your favorite and think internationally. And think internationally, that's good. Uh, Lauren? Um, I just wanted to say um, a big hello to everyone. Um, enjoy the Eurovision. It's it's just it's a wonderful time. It's a, hol a public holiday really in May, isn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, um, don't for two be... Weeks. Yes, uh, <laughs> just try and vote for a good song and a good artist, not your next door neighbour. Oh. Um, and uh, being in Malta, such a small country, everybody is a neighbour of each other. Ah, well, you, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, in know, countries. Yeah, Donna, your final point. My final. As I said, be daring. Don't be afraid to try something new because this could be very, very good and it could win Eurovision for your country, Malta. So do vote. If, if you like it and you, you, you think, oh, this is very different, I, I'm afraid to vote, go different. It can be good and it could bring back Eurovision Cup to Malta here. So hello to everyone and thank you again. Thank you, yes. Thank you, all of you, um, being here on our show. Thanks for coming. Enjoy your stay in Malta. Hopefully, uh, you'll be, of course, assisting to a big festival this weekend. I'm sure you'll enjoy it. Okay, grazie a tutti, come stai? Mi ha detto che il programma è un programma differente. Naturalmente, il Little Festival, il Malta Eurovision, è una provina di un'altra differente. Il Bohot Mill Mistid Nim Baranin, le hanno fatto un po' di sego, il festival, appunto, per la fans, il Malta Eurovision. Hanno un po' di consonetta, on again, off again, le hanno luna ukoll bħala kanzonetta oħra favorita tagħhom um, ukoll Bert għalinna uh, li kienet l-ewwel darba tiegħu ukoll fl-udjenza. Grazzi għafna lejli tajjeb minn hawn ftit ieħor ukoll ninaqdu ma' One News. Well done!